Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at some of the most useful iOS 17 hidden features. Now iOS 17 is actually packed with new features and changes and you probably don't know a lot of them. So in this video, I will show you guys 17 hidden features of iOS 17 which are actually very useful. And we're starting with the Notes app. Did you know that on the Notes app you can now link a note within another note. Now the way it works, you simply tap here and you can just go ahead and tap on add link. Now you can add any URL you want here or you can choose a title of one of your notes. So if I just search something here, I can go ahead and tap right on that note and now I have linked that note here. So all I have to do is tap on this and it basically works like a normal link, like a website link. It will just redirect me to that note. With iOS 17, Apple has implemented some really useful security features. And one of them can be found under the Safari settings. It's actually kind of hidden, so you might not know about it. So you go under Safari here under the settings app, scroll all the way down to advanced. And what you will have here is a really useful feature that will actually remove trackers from links that you share. The way it works, you go here and make sure you have this enabled to all browsing, not just your private browsing, and all of the trackers will be automatically removed by Safari when you share a link. One of the coolest new features that Apple has added to Safari with iOS 17 is the ability to listen to websites. Yes, you can listen to any article you want, when you don't want to read something, all you have to do with iOS 17 is open that article, tap the plus button, the AA button right there, and then you will have a listen to page. This is the button that will do that for you. You tap this button and it starts speaking the website for you. Now here we have another feature for Safari on iOS 17. As you probably know, Apple has made huge improvements to private browsing with Safari on iOS 17, especially the ability to log those tabs with your face ID. That's really useful, but you can also change the, the engines that you use on the private tabs on Safari. So when you go to Safari settings on iOS 17, you will have now two sections for the search engine. You will have the normal search engine, of course, the normal mode, and then the private mode right here, where you can just choose any of the other search engines that you want. And this is the last one for Safari for this video. So when you're on Safari and you will have a bunch of different tabs open, if you want to copy the links to all of those websites, all you have to do is just tap and hold here where it says three tabs in this case, tap on copy links. And all I have to do now is go to somewhere, maybe like a note I want to place them at. And I just can go ahead and paste them and I will have a list here of all the tabs that I had open there. And of course, all the links will be here probably have seen the feature on iOS 17 that allows you to just zoom in on a photo and then go ahead and crop it as easy as this. Well, you can actually do that for videos as well. So here I have the screen recording of my device. All I have to do here is zoom as much as I want and then I can just tap and crop the video as easy as that. Or what I can do something else. I can zoom here and then I can tap and hold and it will show me a few different options here. So I can choose a widescreen square or the like original aspect ratio of this video and just choose that and go ahead and as easy as that crop any video I want. Now with iOS 17, Apple has also introduced the offline maps, which is again another great new feature of iOS 17. But if you have a map that you have saved, like I have this one for New York right here, did you know that you can actually resize it anytime you want? So when you go into maps, you zoom in and you tap download, it will download just that part. But I can tap on resize here. This is the size that was when I actually did save it. So I can just zoom out like this and tap the download button. And now I can just make this map bigger simply by downloading it for offline use on my iPhone. On the messages app, we have here a new menu for apps. Now at the top here, you will see some of course the photos and things like that. Some of the like apps that use more on the messages app. Tapping here will show you all the other apps that you have. But if you see here an app that maybe you want to use more often than the top ones, all you have to do is just go here. If I want to use YouTube in this case, I can just move it up right here and then just pop it here. Basically, this will be something like the favorite app section and you can move it here. And of course, even these apps that are 
on the favorite section you can just move them around but again you can add any app you want from this part right here to the top of your apps now here's another really great feature of ios 17 that i'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know about yet it's very very useful so i'm on home screen i can just by accident maybe move that widget so i don't want to go back and just rearrange everything all i have to do is just shake the device i can tap the undo button and it will just move it back like the way it was it will do this for folders apps and widgets as well so it is actually very very useful now a really cool feature that apple has lately added to the messages app is the ability to quickly go to your photos previously you had to tap the plus button and then go to the photos here now all you have to do is just tap and hold the plus button tap and hold it for a second release it and there you have all of your photos and you can pick any one you want on the photos app on ios 17 now you can know what every light on the dashboard of your car means so simply this all you have to do is just take a picture and then just tap that button right there it says auto symbols you tap there and you can see the results it even gives you a link to safari where you can go to the website where you will have all the details so if i just tap there it will take me to the safari app and here i have that sign and everything about that sign it explains what that means of course what's the problem in this case now another really cool thing is the laundry here so if you just like take a picture of like a laundry tag with all these different symbols that most of us don't know what they are about you can just tap the i button there and it says laundry care you tap there and you can see the same thing here all the different symbols with of course all the different meanings and the link to the website where it explains everything you need to know regarding that symbol now while on ios 17 if you want to make your device really fast respond way faster like this right here all you have to do is head on to your settings go under accessibility and go to touch and you will have haptic touch here all you have to do is just switch to fast it will be the default will be like a middle one it's not that fast but it will be way way faster any anywhere you have like to use like the force touch feature of ios you will be able to make it much much faster on the spotlight search of your ios device you can convert everything you want well with ios 17 you can now even copy that result which makes it way better so if i just convert something i can tap that button now i have that result copied and i can just go ahead and paste it every anywhere i need so for anything that you convert on the spotlight search now you will have a copy button you can also use the spotlight search to actually launch any of your shortcuts so if you have a shortcut that you want to launch you can just tap right there on the spotlight search and it will run that shortcut for you so you can search the name of the shortcut or you just search for shortcuts and it will show you some of your your most used, used shortcuts right there at the top and you can run them or just search the name of any shortcut that you have in the shortcuts app and last but not least if you have an apple watch and a device on ios 17 all you have to do is go to your settings go under the control center and now you will have the ability to actually ping your watch so if you don't know where your watch is at you just add ping my watch there when you go to your control center you will have now a new toggle to ping your watch and easier find it anywhere you left it so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to smash that like button of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos i'll see you on the next one